sophistication does not need to scare you away as a web developer. In fact, it shouldn't. And if it does, that's a skill issue. But there are quite a few different approaches to it. Let's talk about the most popular ones. Number one, passwords. They're the most basic form of authentication and they're certainly viable, but they do have a few drawbacks. Obviously, because you're a good developer, you'll only store hashed passwords using a secure algorithm like Bcrypt, but that's not really the issue. The bigger problem is with users themselves. They don't use a password manager, they choose weak passwords, and they reuse passwords across tons of different websites. They forget their passwords. Passwords work best for more technically savvy users because the user is their own worst enemy when it comes to passwords. Number two, magic links. They're not as popular as passwords yet, but they rely on a very similar security model email, assuming that passwords can be reset via email. Magic links just take it to an extreme. Every time you need to log in, you input your email and you get a link with an authentication token embedded in the URL. When you click it, the server verifies the token and logs you in immediately because only you should have access to your inbox. The biggest drawback is that some users hate them. People who are responsible password manager users can be annoyed that they have to open their email client every time they wanna log in. Number three, third-party authentication. You've almost certainly seen or used login with Google, login with GitHub, and so on. This method offloads the responsibility of authentication to a third party, usually some tech giant that the user already has an account with. Personally, I love this method as a user because it has the least friction and I keep my Google and GitHub accounts very secure with things like two-factor authentication. The biggest problem is that you can't really get away with only offering third-party logins to your websites. Because what if the user doesn't have a Facebook account or a Google account or whatever you chose to go with? You don't wanna force them to make a new account on an external service just so they can make another new account on your thing. 